The Department of Veterans Affairs mission statement reads, We support those who serve or have served in defence of our nation and their families. But in a remarkable admission, DVA Secretary Elizabeth Cosson concedes her department's actions aren't true to those words. You agree, don't you, that a statement like that is in effect an implied promise that if people approach DVA, there'll be a timely response and people will be kept informed. That's the intent. And that intent isn't being met at the moment, is it? No, it's not. And under questioning by council assisting, the concessions continued. Ms Cosson said the department's current objectives don't require it to evaluate its handling of mental wellbeing. And they don't refer to suicide prevention either? No. She also admitted the DVA's target of processing claims in 90 days is in tatters. In fact, those targets are not being met at the moment by a long margin. In fact, the, the time taken to process claims is well in excess of the targets. That's correct. The DVA's evidence has been highly anticipated due to the sheer number of accusations of mishandling raised throughout the Royal Commission hearings, including as recently as yesterday. I'd used a DVA-appointed psychiatrist very short meeting with him. A lot of stuff wasn't reflected in the report. Um, so my PTSD wasn't accepted or didn't meet the threshold. But it must be acknowledged that the department's job is huge. It's currently supporting around 260,000 veterans and Ms Cosson has promised to do better. She said there's currently work underway to better share information between DVA and the ADF to ensure that members who are transitioning back to civilian life are properly supported. She also pointed to research that was being undertaken by the Australian Institute of Health and Welfare to better understand the complex and tragic nature of veteran suicide. Talia Roy, ABC News, Canberra.